Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna do a front kitchen bed slide unit. You're seeing it's gonna have two slides. It's a perfect RV for the traveling couple. Now this is my first Solaire video. This is gonna be the 2024 Solaire 230 FKBS. Again, front kitchen bed slide. If you're looking for the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that good stuff you will find down in the description of this video along with a link for pricing. It should also pop up on the screen. But I hope you guys enjoy the tour. Probably gonna wrap this up in about 12 to 15 minutes. Again, this is the 2024 Solaire 230 FKBS. And if you guys like RV content, I'll be pumping out tours daily. So hit that like and subscribe button. Help me reach my goal of 40,000 subscribers here in 2023. Getting pretty darn close. But like I was saying before, two slide units. So you have your kind of your seating and your refrigerator slide. You have a shotgun style bathroom heading back into the bed with an east to west slide. But the star of the show on this model is going to be this front kitchen. So again, this is going to be primarily the demographic is going to be, you know, that traveling couple and you have a really great functional place for cooking. The slide height is also very nice with that barrel roofing. So I'm six feet tall for reference. You're probably looking at about, you know, six, four, six, five, somewhere around there, I would guess, but it's got a really sleek, good looking design. I also like how they incorporated, you know, a couple windows. You have one over here and then one heading up the front cap, both of which have blinds, both of which is tinted. So it's a really nice, sharp look. You're also going to notice an absolute ton of countertop space. It's also going to be that solid surface countertop. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. On both sides here of the front window, you have outlet, outlet, and then you have two USBs and then storage all around and underneath. So over here, you got these nice little cubbies to put some of your stuff. Got a little pull out drawer. This is also the tire pressure monitoring system. I'll get that towards the inside. But what's nice about that is, well, you know, I'll go over that on the outside. You have your high rise faucet, hitting those dishes from all angles. You got your drying rack with your stainless steel undermounted bowl. So plenty of room to do all your dishes. And then you got some pretty clean cut storage down in here, you know, along with some access to your plumbing. So I like how they built in that little shelf. So that way maybe you can put some cleaning supplies, you know, trash bags, any of that kind of stuff. That's a perfect place for that. Three stovetop burner on top of the gray stone oven. So you got some room to cook up all the fixings if you're making some dinner. And then you have your hood right here with the fan and the light along with your gray stone microwave there as well. And then you got a little cubby here up top for any odds and ends items. Again, you got another window. I think that kitchen's pretty darn cool. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Flip it back around. You got what I would consider a very large slide for a travel trailer this size. So the slide height on this is going to be pretty darn nice. It's going to be right at about the top of my head. You know, you drop off about one fifth of my noggin and that's about where you are. So you don't have to worry about bonking your head on anything. You're also going to get one oversized window that is also an emergency exit. So a pull, push and plop. You can get out in a hurry. You have another window here on the side that opens up, you know, provides you with a nice breeze on a day where it's, you know, 60, 65 degrees. You know, you're good to go. You also got the old Dracula shade, the nightshade, baby. Stop the skin from sizzling. Keep some nosy eyes out. And then you have my favorite theater seating combination right here. The big, fluffy, comfortable kind that go down on that quick recline. So you got seating mode and then that quick recline. So that way, if you are, you know, you do have a couple guests, even though this is traditionally for a, you know, a couple, I would say, you do have the ability to sleep two extra folks as long as they're okay with sleeping on the recliners. Two cup holders. A little cubby where you can throw in a book, you know, or maybe a device or two like a cell phone or iPad. You also have the appropriate plugins there too if you want to catch a quick charge with the USBs. But it's also directly across from your entertainment section. So you got my favorite TV say, my favorite brand to say, the old Sansui. Sansui. You got that countertop space. Got a little cubby there. Your Jensen audio system. So you got, you know, a couple different zones. You have A and B. It's inside, outside, so you can play music on both sides. And then you have your electric fireplace. And that thing's gonna put out some incredible heat. In an RV this size with the proper circulation, that's gonna be really all the heat that you need up until probably about, you know, 50 degrees or so. So you're gonna save quite a bit of money, you know, down at the campground. Up above the TV, 
you got the black glass finish for a little bit of storage. I like that. I think it just gives it a nice, nice little sleek design. You also have your two speakers built in right here, and those things get you know pretty darn loud. Now, this is a little bit of a unique camper in the fact that it's 50 amp. So even though this RV is probably traditionally of a size where you just have like one 15K AC, you do have two ACs on this. So that's how they spec'd it out here at Funtown RV. That's how they ordered it. Not all will come this way, at least to my knowledge. So this is gonna be 50 amp. You have one AC here, another one in the bedroom. You also see this right here, you got the dump valve. So you can open that up and it just pushes a little bit of extra cool air back into this room, you know, which is pretty darn handy. This is gonna be your control center. So you got your awning, your two slides, living room lights, awning, water heater, water pump, and then where you can, can check, you know, all the different levels, you know, for your different tanks. Here's gonna be where you control your temperature gauge. And then even this is pretty darn incredible. You got this really nice kind of tucked away, you know, hidden closet, maybe for like a winter jacket or a hoodie, you know, or whatever else that you wanna hang up there. You're also pre-wired for the Wi-Fi, LTE, and internet. So just get that installed. Then you can call up like AT&T or Verizon, you know, something of that nature. And you can get, you know, kind of home on the road, Wi-Fi on the road. Turn this into kind of like a mobile little uh, little hotspot. we got a lot of traveling nurses and people of that nature, you know, that'll buy something like this. Into the bathroom. Let me see if I can open up this with one hand. There we go. You got the corner radius shower. So enough room just to kind of get in and out, take yourself a quick shower. And then you also have a little skylight for some natural light and a little bit of extra head height there. You got a little mirror to show off the old bowling gun, baby. But you also got a place where you can put, you know, a couple different items, maybe some toothbrush, deodorant, you know, the works. A little plastic bowl right here to keep down on weight and cost. You got two outlets. And then underneath here, some storage. And then behind that little wood partition, you got access to your plumbing. Porcelain foot flush throne, so I'm a big fan of that. As a bigger guy, having the porcelain throne is definitely a great benefit to me, and it's a feature that I often look for if I was gonna buy one of these myself. But you see, you got just enough room to be moving around my shoulder while it's up against it. It's not anything that is pressing, and it's not one of the ones where you're, you're kind of squeezing just to sit down. Nice deep drawers there. I got average arms for a six foot fella, and that goes fingers extended to about my elbow. So pretty darn good depth, you know, pack away some towels, maybe some, uh, some blankets or, you know, changes for the bed or something. And then once you get through the shotgun style bedroom, you got your dual entry straight into your bedroom. And this is going to be that BS that <laughs> this is going to be the, the bunk slide portion. So you got your east to west slide out here, and that's going to give you a ton of work around room, ton of walk around room. So you can get ready, get dressed without feeling cramped plenty of room. You can also see it's a bigger bed than most. The dimensions, again, will be down in the description. You got an outlet over here, a place where you can control the AC and the heat, because remember what I told you, you got the 50 amp service. You're going to get two of the ACs. I love having that. You're going to be able to chill yourself out of this camper if you want. Both windows have the Dracula shades, both open for a nice breeze. You also got that little, uh, little shelf right there, and then you have some storage there up above. And then you also got some plugins there too with two USB ports. Underneath the bed, you got some pretty good storage. And then you flip it on around and you got some really good closet space where you can hang up a couple items. You know, you can put a couple weeks worth of clothes in there, absolutely no problem. At least, you know, I could, I don't know, the wife might not be able to, but I know I certainly could. Then you got a little cubby hole there, and then you got four of these dressers. But all right, guys, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. If you guys like my style, like the video, hit that like and subscribe button. Again, this is the 2024 Solaire 230FKBS, the old front kitchen bunk slide. Now I'm going to head around the outside, show you where everything is, and then I'm going to get skedaddling. On to the next one. I got a big old row of motorhomes to do. This is that PDI facility down at Funtown, which we're going to do a video of this too. It's actually pretty darn impressive. So what they do is they take all the units, they bring them here, they pre-PDI before they ship them out nationally. So you're going to have less headaches, less hiccups, less issues on the day you pick up. It's also going to expedite some of that pickup too. So it's a pretty nice little feature to have. But all right, just in case you missed it, all the specifications. 
length, height, tank sizes, awning, size, awning sizes, including that link down to the pricing will be down in the description. But so right off the bat, you know, one of the things that I notice is you have this nice little backup LED light that glows nice and blue for you. It's just so at night, when you're backing up that truck to hook up, you can see a little bit better. If you need some additional light, you do have, well, heck, I don't have it hooked up there properly, uh, but you do have a light that goes right here as well for the power tongue jack. And then you have your two propane bottles. And you also got a place where you can hook up a battery, even a second one if you would like. Power stabilizing jack, which is always a plus. Most brands have them, uh, but it's something to point out regardless. It's on that PSX1 system. So basically, you know, extend, retract, you're ready to rock. Another thing that I enjoy about the Solaire is they go the extra mile for the steps. Now these have the step above steps that flip up into the doorway. Most campers are coming with them now, but if they have dual entry, so two entries, usually one of those will have those kind of cheaper flimsy steps. So they didn't cheapen out that. I, you know, I really like that. So these just flip right up into the doorway. Again, both of them. You have a really nice size awning with the LED lights built into the sides and they're really nice and bright as you can see. You also have the storm door. So you got the screen door right here and then you have a friction hinge door right there as well, which holds up to 25 mile per hour winds, you know, which is a big time plus. The awning, as you can see, also goes all the way across the majority of the camper. You got dual axles. This is your marine grade outside speaker. And then right up here, you got your hot point exterior refrigerator, you know, big enough for about a 24 pack of apple juice cans. You're ready to rock down at the campground. You even got a place where you can store the backup. Got a nice little bracket here for an outside TV. And then all the appropriate plugins. So your cable, your outlets, your other marine grade speaker is going to be right there. Just looking pretty darn sharp. There's that other control for the, uh, the stabilizing jack here. Now they do have a bumper with a spare tire. So that's a plus. You're also going to see you have a receiver right here, which I believe holds 250 pounds. So that is nice because when you're driving down the road, you know, you can put on like a bike rack or something like that. Something that makes you know, life a little easier, takes up some storage. Now you don't have to because you got a bumper with a hitch. You also have a ladder to get on top of your fully walkable roof. So you can check your seals, check your slides, you know, make sure everything is okay. Pre-wired for the Voyager, the y -Sight technology. So that's going to be basically uh, your backup camera. So when you're going down the road, you can see what's going on behind you, you know, with some distance markers. So I like to see that it's backup prep for that. Most brands are doing it, you know, but not all. A little extra storage right here. And then you're also going to notice you got the metal slam latch doors, which is nice. It's also going to be on the magnetic side of things. So I like that. It's not one of those plastic clips. Your 50 amp plug-in is going to be right here. I'll have to learn what that is, but I'll put that in the description. I'll let you know what that is. That looks like a little... I'll have to figure out what that is. That's pretty neat. Low point drains, your galley tank, your freshwater drain, all going to be located right under there. You also have your other drain. It's going to be right here. And then swing it on around, you got your docking station. So this is going to be your battery disconnect, hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower, all your different, you know, sanitation, your winterization valves, you know, all that good stuff in one convenient place. And then your solar charge controller so you can see, you know, what's going on with the solar. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hit that like and subscribe button. Again, this is the 2024 Solaire. 230 FKBS. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys had a good day. See ya.